the shit. New toilet, uh, aluminum foil it. I can't afford with these niggas. They try me, can't fuck my drip. Cause a nigga just sucking it. I got a stick and I'm firing. Bullets gon' fly like a pilot. I can't afford with these niggas. As soon as I see him, I hit him, no iron. <coughs> Hello, everyone. This is Crimson. Your favorite fiery whatever. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I was busy with my schoolwork and I kinda got a virus that made me unable to upload for like three days. But I'm back and I'm and I'm feeling a whole lot better. So I thought what be the perfect time to bring it out? What if Deku was the reincarnation of Tematoa part two? After uh, what happened with that nightmarish uh, scene in Heroes vs. Villains, uh, they came back full and ready because they don't know if there's a villain that'd be stronger than Deku. And this is what Deku looks like now from now on. Okay? Okay. Anyway, as I said, we're all gonna be going on a field trip. You can either wear your hero costumes or you can wear your gym uniforms. I don't care. As this is what Isuku's brand new hero costume looked like. As uh, if I went on the bus, Ida points out, uh, Mr. Aizawa, I don't think it's fair for all of us to be in a bus when one stunner couldn't, couldn't fit. As uh, Isuku looked at his size and said, uh, uh, don't worry, don't worry, man. I got this. I see. Went up to the truck on top of the bus uh, using his crab legs. He said, "All right, let's go." I see. Pokes a hole through the roof of the bus so he can be in conversations. I saw. I said, "Wherever, let's get going." At the top, it's of quirks. Uh, was brought up. They asked, uh, Froppy was the one who asked this. Hey, Medoya, what's your quirk, Ribbit? As the secret said, well, my quirk is like a crab quirk. I have six legs, but one of them, well, I was born with six legs. It's true, but one of them got Stuck during my birthing process, so I have to get it removed. Now I'm just walking around with only five legs. We're thinking I'm a decapod, but whatever. And also, as he holding his back like a shell, I can hold it at my I can hold it my back like if it was a shell. Go on, try to hit it. People said it's so hard, not even armies can break it. As uh, Zero tried to punch it, but hurt his arm, as he said, Ow, dude! Ah, you're right, that is hard. As he can continue by saying, It also gave me this extreme height, which, where people think, you know, I'm a demon and people didn't like me so much so yeah but other than that I also got into really collecting anything that is shiny as everybody even I saw got scared when he said those words as Sika said well guys you look you look like you saw a ghost as Ida said it's not that Medoya it's that after what happened, we're kind of uneasy with your song. As the singer said, don't worry, I wasn't going to eat him. As if by brief a sigh of relief. As the singer said, now if he was going to be a hero. As if by said, wait, you would. As Robbie said, wait, you would have ate him if he was a villain. As the singer said, I'm bigger, stronger, faster than him. Of course I would do it. As he said, besides, with venom in his voice, who do you think is strong enough to stop me? As FBI said, good point. As Papa Ray, 
as a as a topic of pop popery news came up. Fabi said, "So Medoya, will you think it'd be more popular?" As every as one of them said, and this is Manila said, "Why would you ask him that? He will obviously pick himself." As Sika said, "Well, in my most personal opinion." I think Tanya Ida here would be more popular than I. As everybody was shocked, even Isawa looked back at this and wanted to ask,、uh, "Why is that?、Uh, why is that problem solved?" As Isika said, "Where、well, Sir, his family is expendably rich, and his he comes from a." Whole line of family heroes, and his quirk is powerful. I can admit that. But he also, but he's also very kind, strong, and have a good heart. To me, that's worth any popularity contest I ever seen. Well, <laughs> look at me. I'm huge, easy. I'm very sadistic to people that called me a demon, and I'm not very calming. Yeah, my song made me sound like I was gonna eat someone, and I can devour well about a hundred thousand calories a day, like with lunch, breakfast, and dinner. And my appearance is well. Look at me, as he smiled. Exactly how you see in the picture, as if by got a chair down his spine, as Sika said that. So, out of everyone here, I think. Tanya Ito would be the most logical choice to be popular, as、uh, the bus driver and everybody was moved by that. As Fabi said, "Well, with that speech, I think you will have been popular." As they were all here at the training station, as they got that same speech about how quirks can be dangerous, blah blah blah. As Isiku's antenna started to ring, as Isiku said, as a card, card of the heroes, and make sure everyone's phones is off. As,、uh, as I said, why is that? As Isiku said, more has come. As they are. As a whole bunch of hero army of villains、uh, came out, saying, "We're here to kill All Might." As Isiku said,、uh, "Who are you? What's you? Why you want to kill All Might? And why are you here?" As as Tomoe said,、uh, "I'm Tomoe Sakuna, Sakura Sakami. I'm Tomoe." The leader of the League of Villains, and we're here to kill All Might. But it seems he's not here, other than two pro heroes. And I can see you, and I can see we have to kill some of his blackies just to get him here. Everyone attack! As his suit goes about to say, everybody back at the bus. Then、uh, the dust cloud guy, Kaminari,、uh, uh, yeah, Kaminari. No, not Kaminari. Kirigiri, Kirigiri. We said sorry, children, as they all were sent as part of the cannon spaces. As Isiku can breathe underwater and sees Fans was about to attack Froppy. The last thing Manana saw was. The whole water turned into red. Everybody saw the water turned red, as Froppy was thrown onto the bus. Then Isuku came out second with a pissed off expression, saying, "All my life, all my life, I never seen perfect like attempt of killing young heroes." As he looked like this, as he looked like this, 
as his circle started to glow, as he said, Well then, if you all want to fight, come at me then! All the villains ran after to Izuku. Each of them being fly, being flown up to the air as Izuku was just ran pacing through all of them. As Izuku said, Is this, is this, is, is this it? Ha! Huh. I am certainly disappointed as Izuku was beating them up one by one, fist to fist, claw to claw, bite for bite. They were, what they were looking at was Izuku laying out his true strength. Some Kamenai even said, in rage, he's like a beast, the king of monsters. As Isu as Sakuraki said, uh, <laughs> he's certainly strong, but there's no way he can take on the Nomu. Nomu, attack! As Nomu was trying to beat up Isuku, but it was like a kid trying to fight his dad. As Isuku looked down at the Nomu, threw him up, opened his mouth, then ate him. As Izuku started to sing this song to the villains.
after Isuku sang that song, the Phoenix knew they were not just looking at a hero. They were looking at finding a demon from hell. After Isuku beating down all the villains except for Shikaragi, Tomorrow Shikaragi, find you I got it. He roared at them, saying, If you don't leave this place, I promise to your hell will be much more scarier. As Isuku stopped glowing and went back to this. As the villains, as her Garaki escaped, and he did all this in front of the, in front of the heroes. As Isuku said, "If you want Phoenix to stop messing with heroes, you have to be willing to kill one." I certainly am. As he went home, the next day, everybody was informed about the. About the sports festival, so they all took a week off to go straight for it. As Isuku was the one who was voted to give her the speech, Isuku gave her a speech about how he villains are villains, heroes are heroes, and warriors are warriors. If heroes are too weak to fight villains. How they can be expected to protect themselves or anyone else? In this challenge, I expect everyone here to give it their all, one hundred percent, all the way. And if you win and become a hero, I expect you to not leave a villain back. I expect you to beat them down until they beg for mercy. As he all shared and agreed with them, one man said, "Yeah, if it, yeah, if he was too weak to kill, they can be called heroes." As the race starts, Isuku was much faster and stronger, so he got out before Todoroki pulled his ice trick. He destroyed all of the robots with one claw. He called it the. The claw of hell. As Isuku just jumped over the ledges and the uh, uh man mines, winning the race. Second place Todoroki, third uh, Bakugo. Now for the cavalry battle. Isuku requests to do do this alone because he wants to use his own strength. As Midnight said. You're a cocky big fella, aren't you, kid? As Isuku said, "Hey, don't hate the player, but hate the game." As Midnight Saga said, "This is a turn of events. He's chosen to destroy them all with his own strength. Let's see what he got." By the time the cafe battle starts. Isuka went into a pose that you will see Yujiro and Hama do. After that, he snapped his, he snapped both his claws with all his strength, making a shock wave so loud that even the heroes have to cover their ears. After that, he swooped and took off their headbands. Now for the one-on-one -on -one fight. First off, Isuku versus. Uh, Shinzo. Shinzo tried to use his technique of using his mind, but Isuku was too smart for that trick. So Isuku says, kicked him with his little crab foot thing, and said, "If you don't want people to see you as a villain or a demon like they did to me for years, strain your body up." And take what they call you a compliment. Never let anyone dare tell you what you cannot and can be. After that, the rest of the fight goes as in canon. When it's time for Isuku versus Todoroki, Todoroki starts off at ice, but Isuku starts snap them in half. They keep on fighting and fighting until Isuku said, 
Come on, Todoroki. It's your quirk, not his. If you want you if you want you if you want to make your mother think you're different from him, then use your quirk to never be afraid of who you are. Because you know who you are, Todoroki. As Todoroki finally used his fire, he smiled. And Izuku smiled with him. As Todoroki said, Midoriya, thank you. I finally know who I am. As they both fought, as the smoke cleared, Izuku was seen as the winner. After that, they all got their job descriptions to become heroes, uh, or AEC or psychics. Isuku picked to be... Hmm, I'm gonna say it's their Gran Torino's uh, psychic. But before that, they have to have a meeting with the big three. Mio gave that same speech as in canon, but he, did, he noticed that one student was gone. Isuku. Mio said, how could I miss a student that big? It's a humongous shadow came up f from behind with his eyes glowing. Then Isuku kicked Mio in the back. Mio tried to use his quirk on Isuku, but Isuku kept on aiming for his head. Then after only two minutes, Isuku won the fight. As Isuku said, you should never tell people your quirk. Proper names and means you can only console so what happens below your neck, not above it. So I knew where exactly to aim when you talk like that. As Mio said, looks like this one of fun. Looks like this one did his homework and found out how to fight a villain you know, with a quirk like mine. As Suki said, yeah, I did. And plus, I guessed. As Suki went off, and that's what going to end this what if. This was a good one, guys. And this is my first shot. So, I hope you all like it. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.